Today I want to walk you through five things that you can do right now to help set your business up for future growth. There are a lot of times as a business owner when you find yourself with a little bit less business than normal or quite a bit less business than normal. Right now we're in the middle of the coronavirus where I've been working from home for the last three weeks. But for some businesses, look, you're not selling as much right now, but you are going to make it through this crisis and want to be able to set yourself up for future growth or maybe you're currently working from home and you're trying to get a side hustle off the ground. I wanna give you five things that you could do right now to set your business up for future success. The first thing you can do is update your website and or any other marketing materials that may be out of date. I know if your business is anything like ours, you find yourself running around day to day, um, dealing with clients, putting stuff together, shipping orders, and sometimes you don't have a chance to take a step back and fix stuff that's a little bit stale. And so maybe you write on your blog every week, couple weeks. So there's new content there, but what about all the static pages on your website? So the home, the about, um, any other pages like that that maybe haven't been updated in months or maybe even years. As your business evolves, maybe you're not offering any, some services anymore. Maybe your target customer has shifted a little bit. It's always good to take a step back and think through, am I presenting myself exactly how I want to right now? And so that could be your website, maybe a presentation you give to clients, and maybe you're just looking to build a website right now. We always build all of our websites in Squarespace, just giving it something that's super easy to update. It's a drag and drop website builder. If you are looking to build a website because you don't have one right now, I'll link to down below a free course that we have on how to build a website in Squarespace. The second thing you can start doing right now is build an email list. So yes, in 2020, email is still the most effective way to reach your clients and potential clients. You can segment the audience in as many different ways as you want and send individualized messages to each group. If you're not quite sure of all the benefits of email marketing, I'll link to a video that we did about that up above. One of the most difficult things with building an audience is getting them to sign up for your offer. People don't wanna just go sign up for everything. They already get enough emails. They're willing to exchange their email for something of value that you're giving away for free. And so you wanna think about what you can give away. Is it an ebook, some type of guide? Maybe you're gonna host a webinar. People will sign up for that and that'll allow you to reach them going forward. And so when you want someone to sign up, the best way to do that is through landing pages. And so that's essentially one page that talks about the offer of, hey, give me your email and I'm gonna send you this guide or I'm hosting this webinar in a couple of weeks. We end up using ConvertKit both for landing pages and forms as well as to send out emails for email marketing. They recently launched a free plan which allows you to send emails to up to 500 subscribers and gives you access to unlimited forms and landing pages. I wanted to show you how easy it is to get a landing page set up. So why don't we hop on the computer and I'll show you how that works in ConvertKit. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you log into a ConvertKit account. And so to create a landing page, click on landing pages and forms, then create new landing page. And let's say this is for an ebook. And so here you can choose, say, this template. This top image would be your logo. This image you would update with the cover of your ebook. You can update the background image here, and then you can basically go through and edit any of the text that you want. From there, you could just share, and your landing page is live. So in a matter of minutes, you could have a landing page set up. So it really is that easy. You can create a landing page in a matter of minutes and have it live on the internet and start collecting emails to grow your email list. The third thing you could start doing right now is by hosting a live online event, such as a webinar. And so you could do this through a webinar software, through a Zoom call, or you could go live on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. We usually end up doing these through a webinar software called Demio because one, it gets back to my last point where you have to sign up and give your email. So we're building our email list. Two is it's gonna send out a individualized link for each person that signs up. And so we get all these great analytics back where we know at what point someone logged in, how much of it they watched, where you're not gonna get the same level of information from doing a live on YouTube or Instagram or somewhere else. 
But maybe for simplicity's sake, if you don't want to sign up for a webinar, software is choose whatever social media you have the largest audience. Notify your audience, hey, tomorrow, next week, whenever, I'm going to go live and talk about X. So you'll be able to reach that audience. And the good thing about doing something live is the chat. You're going to be teaching them about a specific topic. And in real time, they can ask you questions, give you feedback, and that'll help you improve your business, learn from your clients, as well as educate them at the same time. Also, as you're going through a live event, you can kind of subtly sell at the same time. So you're showing yourself as an expert in a certain area, and someone could take what they learned in a half hour, hour during the, the live event, but sometimes that's not enough to be able to completely execute on something as quickly as possible, where um, they could do it on their own, but maybe you want to offer them an online course that you have that walks through stuff in more detail than what the webinar did. Or maybe you have some type of discovery call where you can kind of have a conversation with them of what their needs are right now to see if there's a good fit to potentially work with you together on whatever the particular topic is as opposed to them kind of doing it on their own. You know, you're educating them, you're getting feedback, and at the same time you're subtly selling the product or service that you currently offer. The fourth thing you could start doing right now is launch a YouTube channel. So video just continues to grow in importance. People love consuming video content much more than reading or maybe just listening to audio. So having video is great for any business. And YouTube is particularly powerful given that YouTube is the second largest search engine. So your clients right now are going to YouTube or finding YouTube videos through Google search that are answering questions that they have or helping them solve problems that they have. And another great thing is video. So if I have someone come and meet with me and they've already seen five of my videos, they already kind of feel like they know me. They've consumed say 50 minutes of my YouTube content. It's building trust, they're getting to know me, what's important to me, and I've helped them in some way after they've consumed some of our content. And so you can do that as well by creating evergreen content that answers questions that your customers have every day. You're gonna be getting in front of potentially hundreds or thousands of people every single day that are your ideal clients. So that's why I'd recommend getting set up on YouTube. We recently did a video on getting over fear and starting your channel, how you can just do it with your phone and, and gear that you already have. I'll link to that up above. Also another great thing with YouTube, you're getting views day in and day out, and you can actually get people off of YouTube and to maybe sign up for your email list. So for example, we have a guide to getting started on YouTube. I'm gonna to link to that down below. So if you're looking for more help for starting a YouTube channel, one, you can help me grow my email list and I can help you grow your YouTube channel. The fifth thing that you could do right now to help set your business up for future growth is something you already started doing by watching this video, which is learn something new. So this is really, really broad and only you know what that one thing might be that'll help set your business up to grow in the future. So who knows, maybe I convince you to launch a YouTube channel from my earlier point. And so you wanna learn how to record and edit and publish videos for YouTube. Maybe you wanna learn more about graphic design so you can do more of that yourself and post on social media more graphic design type posts. And you wanna use the free software Canva to be able to do it. So both of those things you could learn how to do through YouTube and it won't cost you anything. Another option could be to sign up for Skillshare. I know right now they're offering two free months to get started. I'll put a link to that down below. With that, you could binge watch a whole bunch of courses in the next two months or, and not pay anything. Or I think the, the annual membership after the free trial is $99. You can see from the example I gave earlier on video editing. And so you can see all the different options that they have available to learn how to edit videos with iMovie, with Premiere Pro, and basically any other video editing software. Also, if you look for Canva, there's a bunch of different courses on how to do graphic design with Canva in Skillshare. There's also another platform, Udemy, which offers courses on kind of a one-off basis. So you pay for each individual course as opposed to getting access to the whole platform. So the last way to learn something new would be through premium courses. So sometimes you may find the expert on a particular topic and they offer an online course which could be hundreds or thousands of dollars sometimes. So we've signed up for a couple of these things for our business from say Pat Flynn or Brian Dean from Backlinko. Um, those courses were worth every penny but you really need to be sure that one, they're the person that you want to learn from 
and you're going to actually invest the time in to learn it as well as execute on whatever it is that you're learning or you're probably better off going with some of the earlier options that I mentioned such as through YouTube or Skillshare. But really learning some new skills where you have time right now, leveling up and, and thinking through areas that will help your business for future growth is you know, a great way to be spending your time right now. So those are five things that you could start working on today to help set your business up for future success. So this video was a pretty broad overview. We didn't go very deep on any one topic. If there's something that we covered in this video or maybe we didn't cover in this video that you'd like us to create a video on, as always, you can leave that down in the comment section. We always go through the comments. Um, it's a great way for us to start a conversation, answer questions there, as well as give us ideas for future videos. So that's it for today's video. Until next time, bye-bye.